everyone, so today's video is a mascara review and I'm really excited because one, it's officially fall and two, who doesn't love new mascara? I mean honestly, if my lashes are super long, I feel like I could conquer the world and if you're with me, hopefully this mascara is amazing because I have yet to try it out. So this is like an first impressions kind of review. So I hope you guys like it. And oh, I did not even mention the mascara yet. So I will be reviewing the new L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara Intensa and I'm really excited because I love the original Butterfly and hoping that this is just as awesome and maybe even more so. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like the normal one. I don't remember the other one was like all silver, but this one has some red on it and the packaging just makes it seem very intense and exciting. So it is waterproof. I got it in black as black. I did not see any other shades there by the way, so I don't think there's like a brown or a clear. It's just black. And this says it has a double wing brush, which I could definitely see in this package right here. And yeah, it's supposed to be intense, fanned out volume and um, it's clump free, flake free, smudge free, um, suitable for sensitive eyes, and yeah. So this has fibers in it, that's what they say, and it gives you nine times the volume and gives you nice like coated lashes, like it's not a faded black, it's like an intense black. I'm excited, and I hope you guys are just as excited with me, so I'm just gonna open this for you guys on camera. Ooh. I love new mascaras. This should give me a good amount of volume. I usually like very thick brushes for the volume, but I just think that the way that the brush is created, it's gonna give me the right amount. And I also like that they put like a little bristle right at the end of the tip of the brush. So that means that I could probably get every single lash because usually when I wear mascara, some lashes like at the tip, just do not get coated. Do you guys have that problem too? I really hope this one can coat it. And here we have the other one. So I will give you guys a close-up of both of these products. So here you have the mascara wand and as you can see the bristles go all the way around and this is the tip I was talking about. And sorry my nails are not painted. I am giving them a cleanse right now. of the actual product is literally the same as the one for the original butterfly. The only difference is the brush part. The handle is a different shade. So I'm just going to bring you guys a little closer and we will begin the application. Are my lashes when they are not coated in any way, these are my natural lashes. So here we have the brush completely loaded and we're going to begin applicating. brush now and do what they said. Here is the difference. This eye is the coated one and this is the non-coated one. Um, for now I do not see really a lot of volume. I see a change in length and thickness in the bottom area of my lashes, but I don't definitely do not see a lot of thickness coming from it, but I do see length. I'm just gonna coat this eye and come back. Here I have both of my lashes coated and I coated them twice. I definitely saw a lot of length build up from each new application. I noticed over the third application on the eye, I noticed that it started to not really clump, but get a little bit more stuck together because I noticed a lot of good separation with this mascara. It's just um, clumped, like less separated during the third coat. 
but I definitely do not see a lot of volume. Sorry, my dog. I definitely do not see a lot of volume with this mascara, but I do see a really good amount of length, which is a great eye opener. If I could rate this mascara, I would definitely give it an eight out of 10, just because it's incredible. The only thing it's lacking is volume, but if you're someone who does not care much for volume, you could just use this and you will be good to go. This mascara for about $8 at my drugstore, but I'm pretty sure prices vary depending on where you live and what store you go to for this find. I hope you guys like this little review on the mascara, and if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for more beauty, lifestyle, and fashion videos. I love getting requests from you guys, and I recently got a request for an ombre video, and I will be working on that soon. A bunch of new DIYs will be coming your way, so get ready, and I am so happy that you have decided to stumble across my channel, and if you would like to stay, just hit that subscribe button. I'll talk to y'all later, and I hope you have a wonderful, magical day, and I love you.